hey y'all what's up so i'm back with another video this time i'm doing a tape in extensions this is not my first time doing them this is my second time and again like the eye tip extensions when i did those we are going to be learning together as we go through this process i'm going to be teaching you guys the right and wrong way to do it i'm going to be messing up and correcting it and just telling you guys what to do so today i'm using wild wigs extensions they sent me their kinky straight hair um three bundles of their tapings this is a 20 inch and i just like i when i did the eye tips with wide wigs i do love their kinky straight hair and i did the same thing same texture on my sister with the eye tips but today we're doing tapings and again they sent me three bundles they are really full each bundle i did end up using about two and a half bundles so yes um the, her hair was super full at the end so i do feel like you can use two bundles however like i said i used two and a half and her hair was really nice really full so taping extensions is when it comes uh, just like that <laughs> so it looks a little natural on that end and then on the other end is where you there is the tape so I'm gonna jump right into the video so she did ask me to shape up her little kitchen back there but I was like uh, -uh we like a natural kitchen around here so what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna straighten her hair and like I said I'm gonna be learning as I'm going and teaching as I'm going the student is the teacher the teacher is a student okay so we're gonna do the same thing again like the I tip video and a lot of you guys love that video and said you learned a lot so this is gonna be the same thing but for taping so what I'm doing right now is I'm just straightening her hair which I've seen most uh, tape and extensions they just went ahead and straightened the entire hair I just feel like it's easier to attach the tape when the hair is straight than when it's all kinky curly at the roots even though it is kinky curly hair I just feel like it doesn't attach well to the hair when the root is curly so it's best to straighten the hair and I feel like you know even if you straighten the kinky curly hair it's easy all you gotta do is wet it for it to like bounce back to a kinky curly like texture with both your hair bouncing back and the um tapings bouncing back to a kinky curly texture so right now i noticed like that's not enough hair i learned my lesson from the last time like that's not enough hair to cover the weave and we gonna make sure we cover this time we're not gonna make that mistake so i want to completely make sure that none of the tapings are shown when she lifts the hair up none of the tapings are shown when the hair is down and you know I just don't I just want it to look natural and nice and I just love the finished results with these so these are tapings I'm peeling it from one bundle you're gonna need two individuals to make one layer thing like if you get what I'm saying so right here I'm just parting out to make sure like do I have enough hair out on the sides and do not be afraid to go deep into the hair as far as like leave some hair out on the sides please because you do not want these to show it's hard it's not that hard to take them out but it was easier to take the eye tips out than it is to take these out so what i do is just peel off uh, peel off that white stick and i'm gonna place it under the hair so you don't want it to be too close to the root and i noticed that i did put that directly on the root but even when i did that i asked her when i lifted up and down like did it hurt and she said no so what i noticed here is that i did do too much hair so what i'm doing i'm gonna just peel that hair back so with doing taping extensions you do want to have just a little bit of hair so that not only does the top sticky sticks on the hair but it also sticks to the bottom tape if you get what i'm saying like you don't want the hair to be so much that both tapes are just sticking the hair and not sticking to each other so you just need a thin layer of hair between them just to secure them but you also want enough space or enough gaps on the tape so that when you stick the top layer on it also sticks to the bottom layer of the tape so you want to line it up properly and lay them directly on top of each other and make a sandwich with your hair so a thin layer make a sandwich and yes yeah, stick them together and here I am just securing them make sure it's secured um, but yeah 
that's all you need to do is make a sandwich and then I'm gonna keep going and like I said throughout this video there's so many lessons that I learned and that I need to teach y'all and just keep watching uh, I know it's a little longer than my usual videos however like I have a lot, lot of uh, training in this video that's gonna be helpful for when you guys are doing this so I'm just gonna keep going making sandwiches and I'm not gonna far of um, get too close to the edge like do not when you're doing these guys do not worry about um fitting in so many that you're getting too dangerously close to the edge and you're not leaving enough hair out on the edges so right here i got a little impatient you know like i need to see the results right away i do feel like i should have just straightened the entire hair then go in and put the um the the extensions in and then flat iron it but you know i needed to see what's going on so i went ahead and flat ironed that layer just to see like okay is it gonna blend in well does it look good you know what i'm saying so now i'm like just parting out another section and as i go i'm just parting out section by section not getting too close to the edge and just you know getting it done so as you can see the part that i parted out is not too thick like i'm just just enough hair but even when i part that out i'm not even putting that much hair so anyways as i'm going y'all know i make my mind up as i go so as i'm going i'm just like hold up i can do a half up half down type thing so that wasn't the initial thought so that's why i didn't part it out in the beginning but as i'm going i like to just you know go with the flow like i'm not a planning out type of girl i just like to do it as i'm going so i did part that out so she could have the option of doing a half up half down and a middle part so here I am I'm fed up I'm just like you know I'm not gonna do it step by step anymore I'm just gonna uh, flat iron the whole back half first and then go back in and lay the tapings in so here I am I'm just gonna go ahead and flat iron the whole thing well half of the head and then go in so here's another lesson you guys when I was uh, at this point, I'm like, oh my God, I'm not doing it in a smiling direction. It's going to be difficult for her to put her hair up in a ponytail if I'm not placing the tapings in a smiling direction. If you did watch my micro link uh, video, like I had to place them in a smiling direction. And for this, I don't know what came over me or what I was thinking, but immediately I was like, oh my God, autocorrect. And thank God I didn't wait too late to figure it out. It didn't mess up the hair at all. But this also needs to be done in a smiling direction so um i'm just testing it out to make sure it's not going to show and even though i part that layer out i do not use the entire layer to place in between my tape it's still like a small amount that i place in between my tape so i'm just gonna go go ahead and um there is a smiling direction right there if you don't know what that is it's like you know i don't know how to explain it you're smiling so <laughs> it's in a smiling action y'all get it y'all in slow so that's what i did there and i just went ahead and finished up the back but i wanted to show you guys like how i placed them in and as you can see so that bottom layer right there the bottom tape like i placed it it's kind of close to the edge but enough hair to cover it and then when i was making the second layer like even though that looks like enough space to put another tape right next to that tape right there i it was just going to be too close to the edge so you have to skip it so don't be don't think you need to force a tape in just because you feel like there's enough space to force the tape in there just go ahead and go to a next layer and then when i did my next layer i just kind of went over closer to the edge or, or as close to the edge as i uh, i could without you know having a tape show and then went from there so when it falls it's just not gonna fall on equally because i'm just stacking them on top of each other i'm just kind of going like in a staircase kind of way so now this video is gonna show you or this part of the video is gonna show you like how much hair i have on the tape as you can see i got close as possible as i can and that's how much hair i have on the tape as you can see in between the tape in between the hair there's some tape sh some adhesive showing and I'm sticking that layer on top of it and it's gonna stay in her hair because it's not too much hair that I placed on the tape to like make it slip out or not stay or whatever so these are supposed to last really long 
and um there is solutions that you use to basically get them out some people use alcohol um i don't think that's a good thing to use but they are oils and stuff like that that you can use to take it out maybe i will show you guys how i got it out maybe on like a story or like a short video but this is the final um for the back and it's super full i think i use like uh one bundle and like a few of the second bundle in this to get the entire back completed and it looks great i'm gonna just go in now and flat iron the rest of the back because again i'm impatient and i just like to take my time overall like when i do videos like this i basically tell they need to like block a day off because i'm gonna take my time even though if i was in a salon it would take me much faster because i'll just like boom 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 but because i'm filming i just want to get all the footage that i can so that i can tell you guys like okay step by step what's important or sh just show the whole style but it did take me too long to do this this hair i know like it you should be able to knock this out in like an hour and a half two hours but it did take me like four hours i don't know why like we was chilling the baby was running around like doing the most so it did take me a while because i just wanted to film everything and make sure it was right you see how slow i'm combing it like like that's literally me like <laughs> combing it super slow and just making sure that it's right and the hair is so full like look at how full that is and her hair blends in so well with it so now i'm gonna go into the top yeah i'm not done yet y'all i still gotta do the top so i went ahead and flat ironed the entire top and made her middle part and then i'm gonna go in so the important lesson about this part of the video is that when um when i went in to start placing the tapes i really had to make sure that i had enough hair out on the bottom half like near her ears so when i started laying the tape guys i put only one tape for each layer if you get what i'm saying like i didn't try to put tapes next to each other um even though they look like it would have enough space i literally just put tape one tape going up 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 and i just made sure that i pulled back on the tape where her edges was like a little thin i pulled the tape back some and then i just moved it back like forward backwards forward backwards just like that just so that um it will fall properly and be full enough at the top when she's done so even though each layer is just one tape i didn't like stack them with each other to like force it in there so it's just one tape each layer so now i went ahead and uh flat ironed her hair out this is the final look of it fully being flat ironed i absolutely love it it looks super full super thick and it just blended so well with her hair her hair is not natural she does perm it but she doesn't perm it so that it's like super bone straight it still has a little kink to it and um yeah it blended so well with her hair um it looks great so i'm gonna went ahead and curled it and it holds the thing about i like about this hair is that it holds curls so well it like the curls was lasting y'all and i really it's hard to find hair that curls really last and that annoys the crap out of me i hate going through a curling process and then as soon as i'm done the whole thing falls out so this hair does hold a lot of curls and Ari holds it for a long time and this is the final results guys so here she is um again we use the y wigs extensions their kinky straight hair these are three bundles of the, her 20 inch tape-ins and it looks super full i used only two and a half bundles and got these results her hair is already thick and nice so this just helps make it look even better here is the half up half down part of it the information for the hair will be in the description bar if you want to purchase it so go ahead and check that out again this is y wigs extensions this is their 20 inch kinky straight and i hope you guys enjoy this video thank you guys so much for watching see you next time